In order to change your background to gray in Windows 7, please hit Start M, which is the Windows logo on your keyboard, and the letter M at the same time. This will minimize all your applications and programs and show you your desktop. Take your mouse and right-click anywhere on your desktop. Make sure you're not right-clicking over an icon. Once you right-click, you get the context menu and you want to select the last option usually called personalize or you may hit the letter R. At that point you receive the control panel display properties dialog box. You want to select window color which is the last row of icons, the second option sort of in the middle. Usually the default is window color sky. You want to click on this option which brings you to this pretty little page with a bunch of pal uh, color palettes. You want to find the link called Advanced Appearance Settings. Click on that. And the next step is very important. Just simply hit the letter W on your keyboard. Notice that item desktop is already selected. So when you hit the letter W, it jumps to window immediately. Uh, if you had clicked away accidentally, just use your mouse, click on the drop down, and go to window. If you're not on an English Windows operating system, then make sure you select the equivalent of window in your language. In this case, my color is already selected gray in my background. Yours usually is the default white. If it is still white, please click on color 1. Make sure you click on the top color. Color 1, when you open up the drop down, you want to select a shade of gray that is directly next to black. You want to be very careful to select that shade of gray. You do not want to select the shade of gray next to gray next to black. That's the corner gray. That gray is no good because it is the same color as your cursor keys in Excel and you literally will not be able to see where your physical position is. That is not good. So in fact, for all we really care, you can select lime green, hot pink. Just don't select the corner gray and don't select white. So click on that gray that is next to black. That's the shade of gray default that we usually prefer. Hit the OK. Hit save changes. Your computer might say please wait. Kill the dialog window, open up Excel, and you voila, you have a gray background. Now the reason why again you want a gray background is we often tend to hide cells in white. So if you have a white color cell, you will now be able to see the gray background, to see the white cell in the gray background. The white cells are important because we want to use them as a cell reference or rather as a driver and input and assumption but for whatever reason we don't want it to print out or you can type in your own note. In addition, oftentimes you shade cells in yellow. Why yellow? Because that's the default yellow for the paint bucket and this is a reminder to yourself, hey I'm important, don't forget to update me. Unfortunately in the real world that doesn't work because when you copy paste into PowerPoint or Word and hit print, it will print out yellow or gray if it's a uh, black and white printout your client your boss might ask you why is it shaded what yellow to which you say oh just ignore that that's just for my own personal hey I'm important don't forget to update me to avoid all that we instead like to use the white shade and therefore instead of uh, the yellow the white again will not show up on a printout it will be visible in the gray background now just don't be stupid and print on black paper and you're all set